You should not stand and appreciate the beauty from afar. I oblige you, my buddy. Come closer and feel the beauty. My, my queen, you are the queen of your land. In the ancient dynasty where I come from, it is an abomination, I mean a taboo for normal men, as in men that are not castrated, to come close to the queen. Whatever that will become an abomination will only so become only when reported. We are under the protection of the virgin forest of Akuru. Virgin stone gossip. Whatever we do here remains here and will not be an abomination if not reported. So come and experience what you never imagined will ever be. Come now. Something I don't understand. If sleeping with this woman will give us access to the money we are looking for, are you saying you are not going to do it? To be a man. If what you did to me is how you do it when you're not in the mood, then I'm looking up to when you will be in the mood. Are you saying that I satisfied you? Satisfied is not enough to qualify how I feel. You have proved to be a man, and I want you all to myself. Hmm? Sorry, Your Majesty. I don't understand what you mean by you want me all to yourself. No woman will have you and desire another. I have had you, and now I want to have you for keeps. That wasn't the agreement. I mean, we agreed that I satisfy your lust, you take me to your friend who lives beyond the forest. Are you not happy that I found you worthy of my love? Even the priest of darkness, with all his tricks, has not succeeded in luring me into his bed. Wait. Are you saying that even the priest of Drachmas wants to sleep with you? Not only him, my love. All men that have valid manhoods want me on their beds. 
Good. Count yourself lucky. I am old. That what mighty men desire. Some have even wooed me for years and I refused. Is yours upon first contact? Promise me you will be mine and I will give you what is mightier than the temple of Jephthah. I promise. You promise? I promise. Frank, what have you done? You're wetting the ties of a strange woman? This woman is not a strange woman. She has promised something higher than the priest of Black Mass. I can't believe you are compromising our mission because of a woman you only met today. A woman you barely authenticated her claims. Are you a fool? Are you a fool? How many times will I tell you that I take people by their words? What is wrong? What, what, what is wrong with you? I, I slept with this woman and I got the highest satisfaction I've had in my life. That's not enough. She has promised to give something mightier than the temple. See, as you're seeing me, I have decided to follow her. Okay? If you don't want, you can go. And listen to me, my dear Duncan. You can still join the winning train. Okay? What? No! You said, you said you wanted me for keeps. Why are you getting another person now? Why, 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 what is this? Oh, no, 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 please. Just take me and me alone. Open your eyes, Frank. You'll see that you're heading for the very deep end. <laughs> now I know you are out to scatter my enjoyment and destroy my progress, my, my destiny. What is wrong with you? If you are not blind, you will see clearly that my eyes are wide open. I know what I'm doing. I like it deep. And that's what I'm doing. I'm not complaining. Okay? Go! The money I'm going to offer you will make nonsense of whatever you might get from the Temple of Dragmas. I am mightier than the Temple of Dragmas. Just do what I want. Never. I came into this forest by the express instructions of the priests of Drachmas. And that's where I stand. And I will not be moved nor reneged on it because of one strange offer from a strange woman. I'm not like him. Are you going to turn down what I'm offering you for what you may never see? I am mightier than the temple of Drachmas. Humble yourself before me and you shall experience unprecedented world. Hmm? Keep your offer to yourself. I'm not interested. I only believe in the temple of Drachmas and there's no going back. For you, I thought you were only poor. Now I know you are foolish. Thank you. Thank you, wise man. Solomon, go, go. I don't know, I don't know why you so much hate my, my progress. Why don't you just leave this and leave me alone? Let me enjoy the woman that God in his infinite mercy sent to me. Leave me to enjoy myself. By the time I finish, you will see yourself. You come back to beg me, I know. Go, go, go. You are the fool yourself. I know what I'm doing. By the time I'm done, <laughs> you have yourself to blame. <laughs> Maybe do we go for a second round? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I understand. You've not gone, you're still there. Go and I'll go with your big head. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, love. <laughs> Let's go for a second round, darling. <laughs> he does what he wants. This man is surely qualified to benefit from the Temple of Drachmas. She disappear? Does it mean what happened was just a fling? 
Did she use and dump me? You're wetting the ties of a strange woman? I can't believe you're compromising her mission because of a woman you only met today. A woman you've barely authenticated her claims. She still remains the sweetest woman I've ever tested in my life. I don't want to lose her. Stone? Could this be the money? You're smiling. You used to dump me and now you're smiling. I have gone to prepare a place for you. A place of peace and rest. I am mightier than the temple of Drachmas. You will not have any reason to regret what we shared last night. What did I say? Please, where are you now? I, I want to be where you are. There is a picture of a house coming up. I want you to take a look at that picture and tell me if you like the house. Statement, I love this house. <laughs> I will send you a guard that will guide you to where you shall find me. You called me the sweetest woman on earth, and I tell you, you are the best. I said it. I said, I love this woman. I love, I love, I love this woman. She has come to prepare a place for me. I love you, the best. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I said it. I was ordered to come and meet you here. Are you the guard my wife said she was sending? You don't look like a guard, you look more like a chief. My name is Opio. I'm not just a guard. I'm the chief security officer of the mental physical region of the eyes of brass. If truly she is your wife, then you can count yourself the luckiest man on earth. Where is she? I want to meet her. Where is she? The lonely queen of cupidity does not live in this forest. She was brought here by the breeze of love. With the ultimate reason was to come and meet you. She has gone back to the eyes of brass. Eyes of brass? But she told me she's the queen of Abotugo kingdom. Whatever she told you during the night has been overtaken by what she said during the day. I was directed to come and show you the house. Your house. That house is located in number seven. Ningozi is the street of the eyes of brass. Find that house, and you can say that you have arrived. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Am. Sorry, Chief. Chief, don't, don't mind me. You know, when you are expecting money like this, you, you tend to misbehave. <laughs> well, I, I, I cannot boost. I mean, I cannot say I actually know what you mean by the chief security officer of the metaphysical region of the Isle of the Brass. But to be honest with you, I know that position must be an enviable one. It must be, it must be a very gigantic position. <laughs> and I envy you seriously, honestly. <laughs> Thank you. <Hi. laughs> Now. I said it. Chief Security, where are you now? How am I going to get there? If you want their money, you go give something. If you want their power, you go drop something. To get something, you go lose something. Because nothing goes for nothing. If you want their money, you go give something. If you want your power, you drop something.